Okay, looks like the stream is working. Let me uh, just confirm it's all up and running on the YouTube side. Ba -ba -ba. Making that stream go live. Hey, look, there we go. Let's make sure the thumbnail is updated. Five through eight. Gonna update some links, let people know I'm about to stream worlds five through eight of Super Discord Brothers three. Thanks for tuning in today. So if you were here yesterday, you might remember uh, everything I said about uh, Super Discord Brothers 3. Hi, Sandal Power. Nice to see you again. Hi, Nelson Bro Gaming. Um, two viewers. <coughs> so uh, yeah, so this is Super Discord Brothers 3. It's a collaborative project uh, done by a bunch of... Uh, Mario Makers, and uh, it's got 64 levels divided into eight worlds. Yesterday I streamed worlds one through four. Today I'm gonna be streaming worlds five through eight. Starting with world five, Nightland. Uh, should be seeing the world map up on the screen right now. Uh, I will be <laughs> remembering to, hi Wyatt House, uh, to switch back and forth so that we don't get stuck on the map screen like we did a few times yesterday. Uh, but yeah, so let's jump into level one here, move Mario to level one, and then switch back to live. My Wi-Fi seems to be cooperating today with my Wii U, so I'm going to be able to play them actually through Course World, as so opposed to Course Bot. So starting with 5-1, Mother Boo's Paradise. Uh, nice transition out of Color World here with those uh, colorful mushrooms. Ooh, spooky. I like the Go the other way, don't come in. Also, I just released some booze. There's my mushroom. Ah, mushroom! Uh, that pipe has like a secret in it. I've played this level before, but I might just go forward because booze. Scary booze. Now we're outside with a tree and some winged boo buddies. Ooh. Spooky scary. Oh, <laughs> that was not a... What are those floor boos called? Stretches, I think is the official name. And you've got the creepy boo watching us up. That would be mother boo, I guess. Now some uh, snake platform challenging. Challenge? <laughs> Words are hard. Only had a little bit of coffee today, so. Only half awake. To play Mario, I guess. Oh yeah, this part's pretty cool with the snake platforms and you have to keep like looking back and forth to keep the booze at bay because there's one on each side. Winged booze. Oh, ah, scary. Whew, made it. So yeah, that's one trick if you've got booze around you is just to keep going back and forth like this. Uh, not really necessary at this point though. Just look back to keep the boo at bay. 
Keeping booze at bay, that's what we do in Boo Land. I mean, Night Land. And that booze has to, it's like hiding, or um, stacked on top of a muncher probably to keep it in place. Pew, pew! Hmm. I think, yes, we can get up there. Mm. Nice secret room, call out to uh, the project here with the initials. Lives really don't matter today since I'm playing uh, through Course World. Oh, we come out that pipe. Now we Oh, right, this part is bad. Ah, oh, booze! Pew pew! And then Mother Boo comes at us, finally, but easy to kill. Uh, so yeah, that was level one. Uh, hi, Luigi and Pumpkin Basher. Thanks for joining the stream today. Uh, I'm probably going to go for two and a half hours today, just based on how long playing through Four Worlds took yesterday. Uh, and given the fact that this, uh, the, you know, these are the harder worlds since... Uh, these are five through eight, so uh, this will probably go to about 2.30, because yesterday trying to get through four worlds in two hours is hard. All right, update the map level. Uh, my Wii U just <laughs> jumped off my Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna have to switch to CourseBot, uh, which is why I downloaded everything in the first place. Uh, This is, yes, this is the haunted house world uh, called Night World, so they're all kind of themed around spooky, scary things like ghosts and haunted mansions and whatnot. All right, let me update uh, what I'm doing. Say, so next we're gonna do 5 2. I'm gonna remember to switch back to the actual view now. Scare Scraper City by Jen. Uh, oh, that was, that almost killed me. This is, this is just trying to kill me here. All right, those, those just have uh, lava bubbles in them. I should have known that would be a lava bubble, but I still was hoping it'd be a mushroom. Whoa, the cannons. Just hoping for a mushroom. Yes, mushroom. Now I feel safe. Ah, but the fire bubble. Uh, I deserve that, I guess for releasing the fire bubble. I'm not gonna hit those because I know they're fire bubbles this time. There's a lot of cannons here. Ah, now I feel safe. Fire flower. Probably no enemies I can actually kill with this since it uh, seems to be all booze and chomps and cannons. All right, make the jump. Ah! Oh, I thought it would stop at the end of the ice. I don't know why I thought. They basically just go along any long surface. Can I go? Is there like a secret way down here? Or is this the main way? I'm going this way, that's all I know. Oh, boo cannons. Cannon boos. Coos. Boonanans. Ah, that was... Should have been able to make that jump. Oh, jeez. This is... That's a hard jump. E. At least I only have to go back to the checkpoint. Getting this mushroom is tricky. Ah, uh, don't. <laughs> ah. Okay, got the mushroom. Joan? Yeah. Whee! Okay, this time we'll know that that actually goes all the way. Run, 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 jump, jump, jump. All right, let's try going this way this time. Or just getting hit by that boo buddy ring. Oh, ah, no. 
This, uh, <laughs> taking me to task here. Okay, Chomp went that way. Run, run, no! Ah! That is just a mean mushroom to get. I'm not even gonna bother with that mushroom. Okay. Oh, maybe I could take this cannon boo and use that to get up because the actual platform is kind of annoying. Yeah. Just ride this boo here. I don't know if this is considered cheesing the level because uh, it's probably not the intended path forward, but this is easier than actually trying to make that crazy jump. I like riding booze. Oh no! Ah! Uh, hope you enjoy watching me die, because that's apparently what I'm <laughs> doing this time. Death. Death comes for us all. That's the theme of Nightland. The inevitability of death. Alright. This time, we've got a mushroom, so we're a little bit safer, and we're gonna ride the cannon boo again, because that was a good tactic. Except, I'm just gonna jump right into that boo there, because I'm throwing caution to the wind, apparently. All right. Come on, cannon boo, take me where I need to go. This time we'll wait till we're safely above the platform to jump off. I guess I can walk down there? Yeah. Right, let's move that boo out of the way before I get in there. Not gonna hit those, because we know what's inside of them. Lava bubbles, or poodoo boos, however you say that. Oh, jeez. Yes, the end! Woo! That was a tough one. Uh, okay, so that was 5-2. Let me update the map. Do, 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 go into 5-3. Uh, I've never tried playing an online game with other people. I'm a, pretty much into single player games, but you know, I, uh, I could try it. I don't know uh, what multiplayer games people, people, people like. Uh, I don't like shooting games. I'm really bad at shooting, so... Uh, but I'm open to playing online things. Yes, I will remember to close the map. Thank you, Booterpole. Um, I'm gonna pull up 5-3 now. Uh, Nightmare Necropolis by... I'm bad at pronouncing words sometimes. Uh, I've played a bunch of uh, Chicky's levels. Um, they always feel like walking through somebody's mind. I think there's exactly 50 coins to collect in this level, if I remember from when we were testing this. Um, spooky scary. Coin coin. I'm just gonna try to get all the coins because I'm pretty sure there's 50, exactly. Crush, crush, doom. Crush. 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 I will say that uh, I'm in Toadette costume, so I'm sad that this is Super Mario 3, so there's no uh, Toadette costume, but, uh, oh jeez. I still like that there's secrets to find by finding all the coins. Basically, anytime there's a secret in a level, I'm excited. Uh, or some kind of, like, additional gameplay challenge, like finding all the coins. I've played a bunch of like find 100 coins 
Um, they're hard to do right. I tried with my Minecraft farm level, if you've seen that video. Um, but they can be really fun uh, when done right. I'm, I'm like into exploration challenges, so uh, that's why I like that. Or I'm just gonna jump right into that pair of dry bones. What types of Mario levels do all of you like? Do you like straight up uh, just platforming, maybe jumping on enemies challenges? Do you like exploration? Let me know in the chat or comments. Also, I don't know if anybody knows the answer to this, but is there a way after a stream on YouTube is done to see all the chat that happened during it? Because I realized uh, after yesterday's video, I'm referencing the chat throughout the video, but then when the video is up afterwards, you can't actually see what people were saying. So it seems like I'm just kind of talking to an imaginary bunch of people, uh, which is fine, you know. Imaginary people are cool too, but uh, I hadn't, wasn't, couldn't figure out how to see the chat. And I haven't bothered to Google the answer to that question yet. Oh yeah, I like that effect of there's something burrowing under the munchers that never jumps out. It definitely feels like, you know, oh, hit that with my face. Uh, you know, something trying to come up from below the grave. See, like that. But uh, I don't know if you all see what I mean about this level feeling like walking through somebody's mind. Like, uh, it's, oh, it's I really appreciate levels that are not just straightforward, go from left to right. Um, and so the fact that like this level you go up and down and left and right sometimes and uh, kind of all different ways is nice. Ooh, Muncher coming out the top. Jump. Forty-seven. All right, so there should be like two coins up here. Because the end goal also counts as a coin in Super Mario Bros. 3 levels. Let's get that one up. Boom! 50 coins! Found them all! Like an onion. What? Where is it? Other people like exploration and puzzle levels. Puzzle levels are fun too. Um, they're hard to do right. Uh, Pink Birdo has a lot of great like one screen, except they're actually like four screen. Uh, puzzle levels that I've played before. Hi TNT bros. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I'm glad your son showed me your video or showed you my videos so that you can start playing it. Uh, people requesting Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart 8 for the future. Uh, I like the onion analogy for that level. The layers of floors, lots of levels up and down. Uh, okay. Let's update the map real quick and then remember to close it. So we're going from 5-3 here. Come on, Mario. Going past a mini game we can't actually play because that's just for show on the map and going into the fortress. Oh, I think I remember this fortress being pretty cool. And remember to close the map. All right, 5-4 and we're only slightly behind schedule, but that's okay because I added 30 minutes into my schedule today. 5-4 uh, is Spectral Stronghold. I... Z... E, X -E Z -E? X -E -Z -E. I don't know how you'd pronounce that. I'm gonna say... X-E-Z. Z-Z. Ah! Booze. That's an interesting way to make booze move back and forth. Uh, using Goombas on the conveyor belts. That's really clever. Again, just showing you what you can accomplish with clever enemy stacks to create unique challenges that aren't expected. Oh, jeez. Um, kind of what I was talking about in yesterday's stream about how enemy stacks can just make uh, levels a lot more interesting in Mario Maker than just kind of regular enemies. Favorite enemy combination you've seen in Mario Maker. I'm a big fan of anything involving a wiggler, so uh, 
I really liked in my uh, Wiggler, one of my Wiggler levels, I did a Wiggler inside a Lakitu cloud, um, which was a really fun platforming challenge. It also looks really adorable. Um, but let me know in the comments slash chat about what enemy combination you like in Mario Maker. Ah! Uh, well, checkpoint, yay. I like the uh, fake checkpoint thing here for symmetry. wonder if we're going to... Oh jeez. I should have not been hit by that. Those are moving fast. Just towers of booze. That's... I like how they... Uh, like they're not totally in sync. And the towers. Uh, nice little touches that they put into how the enemy stacks like actually work. Coins! Bling bling bling! Oop. Now we're on top of the tower again. Yeah, I like the uh, aesthetics of this level that it's like you're inside the tower and now you're going along the top of the tower and it's nighttime out because this is Nightland. Definitely spooky scary. What, three spooky five me? Is that what we say on the internet? Okay, boss time I think. Ah, it's Bowser with booze. That's cool. Oh yeah, I think an earlier version of this had like three boos on top, which was just a little harder to jump over, but two boos is just kind of nice because it's high enough that it could hit you, but not like terrible. Oh jeez. Get him, get him before I die. Yes. So yeah, another example of a great little enemy stack that makes for a slightly more interesting boss fight. So well done, 5-4. That was enjoyable. The one we just saw. Oh, it's now it's four spooky six me. Sorry, I don't keep up with the internet trends as well as I should. Uh, let's update the map real quick, and then remember to close that. Ooh, we're about to go to my level, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, close that and say hello in the comments real quick. I like bosses like that. Me too, Wyatt. Streams are too chaotic. Sound effects like yesterday. Bing, bing, bing. What's bad about Wigglers? No, Wigglers are awesome. Wyatt, why do you hate Wigglers? I'm just sad for you that you don't understand. A Wiggler with a cannon on its head. That's a good combination. Uh, hello, comments. Okay, now let's play some more levels. Remember to change the map back to the actual stream, and we're in course bot, so now we'll play 5-5 five, five through 5-8. So, um, I really wanted this to feel like a traditional ghost house in the sense of you kind of get lost, uh, even though it's a forest-themed level otherwise. Um, and I actually studied a lot of traditional Mario ghost house to like think about how to do this. So let's enter the first pipe here. Uh, and you can see the arrows are pointing all different directions. They don't really mean anything, but I did make it so every time you go through a pipe, you end up at the same set of arrows on the other side. Um, and so there's lots of different things you can check out here. That's a hidden muncher jumping up. Uh, oh, there's a hidden power up here, right? Boop. Uh, so there's lots of doors and pipes to choose from, and the idea is I left these question mark blocks, uh, except I was hitting them without actually going to the same area. Let me hit that question block. And others take you to totally different areas. Uh, so there's lots of interconnected things in this level, and it can get confusing.
little bonus area. Yeah, bonus room. Inside the big old tree. Uh, and yeah, I tried to like think of ways to surprise the player. So having the Muncher Boo stack jump out at you with the mole, having these hidden conveyor belts behind some of the pipes, which is why the whole ground is made of pipes, just so we could do that. All right, that one I think took me back to the same area. Let's try a pipe. I think, yeah, this is the exit over here. There's also a secret exit in this level, which I won't show. Move a ghost off of a door to find the exit out. Uh, and you can get for quite a while, as some of the players have. Uh, I'm gonna play through 5-6 script before looking at comments again, just cause uh, trying to keep relatively on track with my half hour per world thing, even though now I'm thinking it'll be more like 40 minutes per world. Based on how yesterday went. Um, but yeah. Oh, how do I get up there? Is that supposed to be a thing you can get? Oh yeah, you can go over the top of a question block? I didn't know that. That's interesting, I might have to... Like if it's at the very top of the screen, you can go over it? Hmm. Ooh, a mushroom. Thanks, Kamek. Or, you know, generic Magic Koopa. Boop. Well, is is it in Japanese that the Magic Koopas are called Kameks, and then in English they made Kamek the generic generic name for it? I believe there was some like translation error. Oh, thanks for another mushroom. And another mushroom. Ooh, a leaf. Oh, can I, like, fly up there and kill you? That'd be cool. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, we're up to three Kamex. Magic Koopas. Etc. It's a lot of magic in the air right now. And not in, like, the... Lion King way. tail noise. Oh, I guess I could be killing these dry bones. That's the nice thing about tails, is you can actually kill them forever. Can't kill booze. Ooh, another leaf. Oh, now it's Kamek, because this has boss music. And I like how the uh, <laughs> magic gets wings, uh, which is just like a silly detail that doesn't really make sense, but I appreciate it. Yep, you're mine now. Can't... How do I get back down there, though? Oh, I can go through this way, except I gotta watch out for the booze. <laughs> Damage boosting. It works sometimes. Oh yeah, so that's a fun little level. Definitely very different than the levels that came before it, and it being, like, kind of a boss-centric level, but uh, very, very cool. Right, let's update the map and check out comments before doing Ghost Coaster by David, but not me, David. Pause. Uh, all right, so we went through the crazy maze, came out for 5-6, and now we're going to 5-7. And say hello in the comments. Undertale, no. Stop with the mouth sounds. They're too realistic. Uh, but I think people like the mouth sounds. Uh, yeah, the witch does start making an army there. Uh, you can try advertising your levels. I'm not playing user levels, but, uh, other people might, but, uh, uh, I'm just playing through Super Discord Brothers today, so. Uh, 13 unlucky numbers. What world is this? Uh, this is World 5 in Super Discord Brothers. This is Nightland. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to... 
the stream and play through 5-7 Ghost Coaster by David. Uh, so you can see, oh, two Ghost Coasters. So this is kind of like Haunted Amusement Park. Gotta keep jumping to avoid getting run over by the ghosts on their coast. Die. What is it called when you like kill an undead thing? Uh, I mean in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer terminology that would be like dusting a vampire. I'm dusting the dry bone. Except it's not dust, it's, you know, bone shadow. Oh, boo! Bling! Bling! Dust! Bling, bling! This is a nice Ferris wheel. I'm not worried at all about the ghost coaster. Oh, there it is! Oh, there was a one up there. One up! Ooh, this ghost coaster is getting complicated. Just gonna hide right here. Oh, but that boo's coming for me. Yeah, so this level is cool. It's a nice way to use auto scroll to. Uh... Oh, geez. Jump in dry bones. <laughs> uh, this definitely feels like, yeah, a creepy amusement park. Um, and the ghost coasters. Uh, fun to avoid and nice that there's also like ferris wheels and whatnot so yeah fun short entertaining level express by Flandra update the map here real quick take him to the little train over there by the castle and go back to the level So you can see the... I don't think you can go in that pipe, yeah. Pew, pew. So this one has really nice aesthetic look, uh, getting that train look. So it's kind of cool, like, uh, technically, you know, every world ends with an airship theme, but so far we've seen an airship, a land ship, aka tanks, we've seen a water ship, aka ship ship, uh, and then another airship, and now a train. So even though they are all airships uh, in their level theme, the actual like look and feel is not all just airships. So it shows like if you're like creative with how you use elements, you can actually make a lot of different looking things with a pretty limited palette here. Um, Still wish that they would release another update from Mario Maker that would give us some additional themes, but I think that's a unrealistic wish at this point, so we just have to hope for Mario Maker 2 for Switch in 2018. That's that's my hope. But the train is starting to get a little more ghosty now. And now we'll go inside and it gets really ghosty. Ghosty, ghosty. Oh jeez. I knew I was gonna get hit by that. Cause I'm supposed to go under those. Oh. <laughs> that was uh that was a really classy way of getting myself hit there. Oh this is a little one of these doors is right and the others aren't. Yes, door. Alright, oh jeez. Oh no! Ah, climbing on vines is difficult some. Um, yeah, so if you like spooky levels, World 5 of Super Discord Brothers has got all the spooky levels you could possibly want. As you've seen, they're pretty much all ghost house theme. Um, like the fact that this is an airship level, but the inside is the ghost house theme 
And of course, there's ghosts everywhere. And yeah, that's what I tried to do with my level as well. It still feels spooky scary because of ghosts and stuff. Uh, made it! Now it's boss checkpoint time. Uh, this boss, I believe, is called the Terrifying Twelve. Oh, and yesterday's boss was the Spectrum Squadron in World 4. So this uh, boss, there's like hidden POW blocks inside those boos. Oh shoot. Darn. So you have to uh, power up your shooty gun with your fire clown car and hit the boos at the right time so that then they hit the POW blocks which hits the munchers up above so you can escape. So yeah, another really clever use of limited tools in Mario Maker. Oh shoot, come on, don't die. Yeah, this is a level I played several times before. The original boss was much, much harder than that, so I'm glad that they adjusted that. Is this the end here? Aye. Yes, that is a hard boss, uh, but it does feel like a boss. Hey, world clear. So that was uh, Nightland. Uh, say hello in the comments and such before I go on to World 6. Let's update the map though. Uh, so World 6 is called Frostfire Land. It's, you know, lava and ice uh, kind of together. So there's levels with fire and stuff. So Mario comes in from World 5 over here, then goes through this pipe, and we'll be going to World 1 over there. Hello, TNT bros. Do I drink Coke or Pepsi? Uh, my preferred thing is Coke Zero. Uh, Chappium saying really like the boss. Yeah, that was a really nice boss. And definitely a nice change from normal mechanics. Um, let's see, what else in the comments? Illuminati confirmed. Yep, the, the Illuminati definitely exists. Hi, Sarah. Um, if you hear that bird noise in the background, that's me drinking from my water bottle. Coke is better from fountains and Pepsi is better from cans and bottles. I think basically any soda is better from a fountain. That's just how it is. Fountain drinks win. Uh, okay, let's uh, start on world six here, Frostfire Land. Uh, starting with 6-1, switch back to actually showing you what I'm doing rather than the map. And uh, yeah, 6-1 here. Oh wait, no, let's play the whole four levels as one. 6 Luigi M9. Uh, so Tuis are an enemy I always forget about <laughs> from Mario, but they're the piranha plants that shoot little spike balls above them. Uh, so they, again, have a nice workaround here where they have lava bubbles coming out from pipes so it looks like the prana plants are spitting them. So, clever. Little secret area. I'm not going to bother with those hard coins down below. Okay, platform of doom. Wait carefully, be cautious, so I don't die. What's a Mario enemy that you always forget exists? So for me it's Patooies, and then every time I see them in a game, because uh, they started in Mario 3, but they showed up in recent games too. So here's the thing is that even if you kill the piranha, obviously the pipe is gonna still spawn bubbles like that. So that's like a phantom Ptooey over there. Uh, but one thing you can, I don't know if you've figured this out in Mario Maker, if you're close enough to a pipe, it won't spawn whatever it is. So see, like when I'm one block away, it stops spawning. FYI, if you didn't know that about pipes. So that can be helpful when you have an annoying thing in a pipe. And I like the uh, snow frosted trees here at the end. Nice, nice touch. Also like that 
Java Underworld. So that's kind of a theme throughout. Uh, before 6-2, say hello. Bye, train. Fireball things. I hate patooies. I like Hammer Bros outfit. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, the Tanuki suit, that's also a nice, cool thing. Yoshi's kind of a power-up. Um, it's, it's weird how you think about Yoshi, because obviously in Yoshi games, Yoshi has total agency and is doing all the stuff, but in Mario games, Yoshi's just a disposable thing you ride and then drop into a pit when you need to jump to safety. Sorry, Yoshi. Uh, okay, moving on to 6-2 on the world map here, and then remembering to go back to the game. So 6-2 is Buzzsaw Basilica by Jungle Bee. Uh, we've got a Patui at the start here. Forget if there's like Patuis throughout, I think so. I also don't know if I'm pronouncing that word right. Tui? I'm gonna say Patui, just I like pronouncing unpronounced letters. Definitely getting some much trickier platforming here, like these jumps over... Ah! <laughs> they uh, talk too much and then jump right into something. Uh, that's a hard thing for me about streaming so far, is uh, with the audience, then I sometimes forget to actually play the game properly and do something like jump into a fireball. Uh, but if I'm quiet, then it's a little boring. Careful. Ah! <laughs> like careful right before I dropped into an eternal pit. That's what I, uh... Let's talk about how careful I'm being right as I throw caution to the wind and die. Uh, I think the difficulty progression throughout Super Discord Brothers um, is... Three, Super Discord Brothers 3 is pretty good. Um, if you look at the clear rates through the whole series of bookmarks, it's actually like pretty good. Like the World 1 level, some of them are even ranked easy, and expert stuff doesn't really show up until the later worlds. Um, so I think that all turned out pretty well, the overall difficulty progression. Before 6 3, I'll say hello in the comments again. <laughs> Why it is more focused on the chat, chat and almost forgot about the video. Uh, Chappium, how many times did I leave the map left up on the screen? No times today, as uh, Booterpol said. Uh, but yesterday, it was like, what, four or five times? That was a little embarrassing. Uh, all right, let's move Mario to 6-3 here. Um, what's the music for, like, when you're on the map screen? I was trying to think of that, and I was gonna hum the map screen music. Bramble. Who's Bramble? Is that, like, uh, the version of piranha plants that are, like, long vines? I don't, I don't know what Bramble is. Uh, okay. We can go back to... 6-3, Torrid Tundra by Antisocial. Pipe yet? I don't think so. No. Oh yeah, this is a loop around. Um, I don't think I've played the final version of this level. I remember playing it in playtesting and being really annoyed by that mushroom there that I just missed. Um, but just playing this so far, the jumps seem a little nicer than I remember because I remember some of these muncher jumps killed me with doom. Oh, Monty Moles. Oh, jeez. Coming at me with a muncher, huh? Oh, yeah, and I think there was, like, a whole section where you had the bomb stuff here, or is that... Oh, yeah. These things. So here's another good example. Underworld being fire. Overworld being ice. Alright. Don't get killed. Don't get killed. Ah, mushroom! Whew. 
Whew. Don't get crushed between those. Oh yeah, those... I really like these winged moles here that hop across the things. It's nice how it's like perfectly spaced so that they can continuously hop. That was a really fun, you know, thing the first time it happened uh, that I saw. That's an other... It's just so great in Mario Maker. There's just like all these different things you've never seen before in a Mario game. Different... Oh, so close to the key! <sighs> Long between checkpoints, and then now I have to start all over. Miss that mushroom again. Uh, this is one of the difficulty spikes, I believe, in terms of like the clear rate of this level compared to surrounding levels. I think my level 8-2 is like the second lowest clear rate of the whole project, at least currently. Oh geez, uh, which I don't know if I'm proud of or uh, it's just a thing, but uh, yeah, clear rates. Alright, this time I'm going to get the mushroom because I'm going to hit it from this side and be ready for it. And this time I won't be killed by a mole over here because I'll be ready for it. Yeah, I'm talking about you, secret mole down there. Now I should be able to get like a tiered power up here if I can not get hit for a second. Fireballs! Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, that means I'll be able to shoot all those winged moles. Pew, pew. Are they paramoles or just jumpy moles? Actually, I'm terrible at shooting them. And I lost my flower. I have been deflowered. Oh no, no, don't crush me! Oh, crushed. Crushed. Ah, so I hope you enjoy the opening section of this level, because that's what I'm going to be playing for the next two hours. <laughs> As I continuously die. Um, but I'm going to get really good at it. See, I'm speedrunning it now. Exactly what I'm doing. Come on. Loose. Lost my flower. Nope. 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 Ah! I was jumping so well right there. And then... I jumped into Doom. That's what I like to call any injury in this game, is Doom. Also, if it just seems like it'll kill me, even if it doesn't, it's Doom. Is this going to push me off? Yes, it would have. But I'm ready. Oh, mushroom. Mushroom, but I probably would have died in the process. Okay, I've got the key. Now, where do I take it? I remember seeing the door, but it was a while ago. Come on. Whew! Alright, there better be immediately after this. Yes, checkpoint. Let's rest here for a moment and look at the comments. Doom! Bullseye Bills. I hate them too. Deflowered. Yep. It's lag, so it skips. It's just strange. Alright, back to playing the level. Oh, here's the bombs. I knew there was a bomb section. Blow it up. Blow it up. Oh, I wanted you to blow up the mole. That's what I wanted. Blow it up. Haha, <laughs> dead mole. I'm pretty sure these need to go over there. Yep, because there's a hidden pipe I need to uncover. Again, I have the advantage of having played through a playtest version of this level, so I know what to do without having to check. 
I don't think I'm going to be getting world record on any level I play in this game. Mostly because I'm not a speedrunner. But also because I'm not good at going fast. Uh, I guess those two things are the exact same thing. Point one and point two. Same point. Oh, skewer. Skewer! Just gonna go fast here so nothing can spawn. There was a POW block back there. I'm not sure how I get that, but I'm sure it will be- No! Crushed! Oh. Yes, I am a murderer. Uh, I murder moles because otherwise they murder me. <laughs> mattered. Wah, wah. I guess that's it for the stream. Just kidding. Uh, Alright, 6-3. That's what we were playing, right? We're just gonna play this directly. That sounds like a fun level. Oh, but now I lost my checkpoint progress! No! Oh, this is what consequences feel like in a Mario game. It's been so long since, uh, Lives have mattered to me, uh, in Mario. Oh... There's no way I can cheat to the checkpoint, is there? I guess I could, like, press edit and jump forward to the checkpoint? I don't know. feel, feel about, uh... Cheating. I mean, I know everybody really likes watching me play through this part, right? Well... Semi speed run. No cheats. That's fair. I'm just, I chose to play in course bot, well I not, didn't really choose, my Wi-Fi network chose for me because it's not having fun with my Wii U today. Uh, <laughs> checkpoint! And this time I'm without actual lives because I just played this level directly, so we will never play that part of the level ever again. Yeah, also, oh, here's a second reason why I'm not speedrunning and won't get world records, because I'm playing in core spots, so I can't actually have my time reported to the internet. Uh... Okay, mushroom, feel slightly safe. Oh, that pow needs to take away that muncher. Skewer of Doomer. Skewer Tour. Cannons of Doom. Is that where I got crushed last time? No, I think it was like over there. Let's aim to at least die in different ways this time. P-Switch Door. Oh, checkpoint. Nice. Uh, there's a key there. Oh, shit. I spent too long trying to figure out what was going on. Alright. Now I can go through here. Or is this going to give me a piece which I have to take through this part? Oh, backtracking. Ah! 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 Piece switch Take up here! And there's the door. Whew! That was... That was an intense experience. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it even though I played through it uh, several, several times. All right, let's update our map. All right, so Mario is moving on from 6-3 after losing many lives and having a game over there, but then we went to an alternate universe where Mario didn't die, and now we're going on to 6-4, a fortress, which is called... Frostfire Fortress. Switch back to the view. 
intense. Thanks for saying good job, Andre. Yes, it would have been funny if I died at the end, but I didn't. All right, now we're playing Frostfire Fortress. Six. Oh, this already seems much more calm than the level we just played. Or, I feel calm. I think I was, uh, you know how you get that kind of like adrenaline rush when you're playing sometimes? Like an intense thing that you keep messing up? Oh, that thwomp tried to burn me. Uh, I'm feeling now the adrenaline leaving after that level. I was like very tense, gripping my controller feeling. My palms are sweaty is what I'm saying. This just seems like calm and delightful after that, but those thwomps are gonna burn me! I guess I need to, yeah, spawn it and then run away. Oh, but they come back up. Fire bars of doom. Gonna avoid getting killed by them. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, checkpoint. That's nice. Oh, is, oh, yeah, that goes through. Okay. That's nice. Hey, thanks for dropping me off. It's like platform Uber. I feel... It's interesting, because usually the fortresses are slightly harder than the levels that came before. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but in this case, this fortress feels, like, easy compared to the level I just got through. This is what I get for talking. It, uh... I wanna, like, yes, come down, but don't kill me with additional flames this time. Oh, I think what happened is I went off screen and then came back, and the flames came back. Uh, whew, almost, like, slid right into doom there. Gonna wait very cautiously, get the checkpoint, and run back. All right, boss time, I think. Bowser Jr. Except giant Bowser Jr. Oh, already got hit. Oh, that's a one-up. What I really want is a mushroom. Oh, so close. I mean, I still want to get the one-up, even though it is meaningless. Uh, because it feels good to collect things. Haha, <laughs> I got the one up. Oh yeah, and I killed Bowser Jr. Giant baby Bowser also is kind of what looks like. A completely different character than Bowser Jr., but they do look similar. Whew, all right, that was, what, 6-4? Uh, as I said, today is gonna be a two and a half hour stream because uh, yesterday, two hours is just not enough for four, four worlds, so relatively on track, even though behind what the initial schedule would have been. Hmm. I make really good puns? I guess so. What pun did I make? Um... Is this world inspired by Mario Galaxy Freeze Flame? Um, I don't think specifically. I think just like having fire and ice together is a general video game concept, not specific to Mario Galaxy. Um, okay, let's play, oh, update the map, because that's what we do. So moving on to 6-5 here. And then we will go back to watching me play and press course bot. And this time I will try to not post. Oh, I think this one has some kind of puzzle elements in it. Yes. So, oh shoot. If you use the para beetles right, you can like get stuff from above. And I think those coins tell me exactly where I need to. Yes, there's a P-switch. I don't know what I need a P-switch for, though, so I'll just hold on to it for now. Oh, looks like... Yeah, pow. I think that, um... 
pipe that I skipped over just takes you back in case you messed it up, so you can do that section again. I don't think I'm timing this right at all. Uh... <laughs> oh, that was a muncher. Oh, more munchers. Yeah, so the idea here is you have to set off the bob the right moment so they drop things from the ceiling for you, but uh, I have not been super successful at that. In fact, I just keep dropping munchers on myself. Oh, I guess I could also cheat and ride like a parabeetle up. Take me up, Parabeetle. Show me your secrets. Oh, that's like intentionally a way that's supposed to be a secret way. I think right here will be where I have to get up. The way I was supposed to go. Oh, they're gonna drop all the munchers on me. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Go, 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 go! Uh, I like moments like this where it, you know, adds an incentive to run really fast uh, to save your life. That's a cool moment. Throughout this game of uh, straight up platforming levels and, you know, elements with slight puzzle things, uh, like that level we just played or my level in the ghost world that we played earlier, uh, let's move to 6-6 six, six on the map. Say hello in the comments. Whoa, that's cool. Eight minus five does equal three. Half-Life three is confirmed. Yeah, I'm actually a, an agent of the the company that makes Half-Life. What is that? Steam, Valve, whatever. So it's not cheating. I didn't cheat. It was It was totally an intended way for me to go. Who's a nerd? I'm a nerd. I'm a huge nerd. Uh, what is the next level ID? There's a link in the description to the Reddit post that has all of the um, bookmark links and IDs. Uh, so click that link in the video description to go see all of the levels and then you can bookmark them and play along. Uh, so yeah, 6-6 six, six, Chili Crumbly Caves, but thank you Chappium for uh, posting it in the, uh, the chat there. All right, moving back to uh, the view of my plane. I've been so good today about not, not forgetting. I almost forgot one time, but, but I watched the comments and Booterpole told me not to forget, and then I didn't. 6-6, uh, six, six, Chili Crumbly Caves by Abel, or Abel, or Abel. Other ways to mispronounce somebody's names. name. Oh. What are they called when they're on the ceiling? Don't parabeetles have like a different name? I mean, not parabeetles, uh, buzzy beetles when they're like ceiling grabbers. I remember it was like a big deal in Super Mario 3 that they climbed on the ceiling. Like you'd never seen that before. Oh, is this the way that you come? Or is this, ooh, a secret. Goomba shoo, yes. It is mine now and forevermore, or until I lose it in like 30 seconds. Goomba shoo, goomba shoo, goomba shoo, boo. Boop a doop a doop, boop, 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 boop. Bounce, bounce. Yeah, I remember like the instruction manual of Super Mario 3 was like, check out these new enemies, beetles that fall from the ceiling. And, uh,. I think it's first in the pyramid level in World 2 where you see those. Or maybe not the pyramid level, but somewhere on World 2. And I remember like, whoa, they're falling from the ceiling. They're upside down. They look three-dimensional. It's 1990 or whatever year that was. That's how I talked back then when I was five years old. 
Oh. I will say, these caves don't feel especially crumbly. Like, I was expecting things to be, like, falling down at me. But, uh, this is a fun level. And I'm about to get a boot finish. I think there was a secret path that I missed. I feel like there was a secret path in that level. But whatever, boot finish. That's always awesome. Anytime there's, like, a get to the end with it, that's, uh... uh I have a cr Capri Sun. Yes, <laughs> of course I would be drinking a Capri Sun. Except I was so bad at putting the straws in those. Oh, what happened to Nightly News at 9 Part 3? Uh, I wrote a book instead. That's what happened to Part 3. I am hoping to restart NNN this year uh, with pre-production. Oh, is it was it not called Crumbly Caves? Boot is confirmed as the Illumina Illuminati. Yes. Goomba High Heels. Uh, you're welcome. Don't mention 2016. 2016 was actually a pretty good year for me. I know politically it was awful, but I started working for myself in 2016, so that was really nice. Uh, oh, right, let's update the map. Six, seven, going to the little lake. And go back to plane in the game. I think there's some kind of like crazy secret way to get up there. <laughs> if you do shell jumping, but instead I'm gonna... Uh... I like that giant line of cheap cheeps. And very accurate that you can only go in one part of the pipe. Or is that... Whatevs. Point is, I'm underwater, and Lakitu is going to try and kill me by throwing lava. So again, nice combination of ice and lava things in this level. Oh jeez, that one hit me. And this is, again, a great example of what makes for a good water level, in that these, um, whatchamacallits, uh, winged lava bubbles kind of go take advantage of the full vertical and horizontal space because of the way they bounce diagonally, and Mario being able to uh, swim around them in different ways is actually unique and interesting and a good use of the fact that Mario can float in this level, whereas if this was a normal level and you were having to just run and jump past all of those, it would be hard in an unpleasant way. And now I get to kill Lakitu and steal his cloud, even though it doesn't really do anything underwater. But I'm gonna collect me some coins. This is very calming. Feels very zen. Oh, but now that I lost the cloud, I'm not gonna get those CD, but uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, that is an amazing, creepy, cheap, cheap snake. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, this is the secret way, which is just totally superfluous because you're like backtracking after you're like basically at the end of the level. But I like secrets, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, I really hate the lag time on those, uh, whatchamacallits, the spawning of piranha plants from pipes. It's off of what I'm used to. It bothers me. That's what I'm on, not my poor platforming skills. All right, before 6-8, let's say hello in the comments and update our map going to a another ship ship airship level ship ship mario ocd why did you not get the coins uh because it was funny uh well and like i felt like i had to get the coins while i was in the cloud so once i was out of the clouds it was uh no longer time to get coins everything confirms the illuminati why do I even have the map? 
because it's fun. And Birdo put a lot of work into making the map. And then it like feels like I'm playing through a game. Uh, and it's a nice little pause so that you're not just watching my pause screen while I get a drink of water. Bird sound from my water bottle. All right, let's play 6-8. Frigid Frigate by Simon. Simon. I'm just gonna mispronounce everybody's name multiple ways. Simon. I thought of another way to mispronounce that, but then that would have been not a good thing to say. Yes or no, airship music is the best music. Oh! Hit by that bomb bomb. Oh, but it'll blow itself up in the perfect spot. Thank you. Having to use bomb bombs in this level is a nice callback to the, uh, level I got stuck on earlier. I don't know if that was intentional or just totally coincidental. I mean, it's kind of just one of the cool things you can do with ice blocks is blow them up. I guess there was a lot of blowing up ice blocks for a beetle bomb level. Oh, what is going on? Uh, this is a boss fight. I'll look up the name of the boss after I kill it or die trying. Oh, I need to... Oh, right. I remember this boss now. To use that question block, not question block, note block to jump up there to hit those question blocks. This is gonna be hard. Ah! Yep. Bruh. It's the name of the boss there. There's been a lot of snake-like bosses in this game, I just realized, because we had Cecil, or Cecil, the sea serpent, yesterday. We had that ghost boss earlier today. And then, uh, we have this snaky boss. Do I only have to do it twice? That's nice. Twice is nice. Goodbye, Cold Pyre Cobra. You're not dead, you're just... I'm leaving. <laughs> That's nice, a non-violent end to the, uh, the boss. I mean, it was still violent, I still blew the stuff up, but, you know, I didn't kill anything, per se. Uh, all right, let's move on to World 7. Cloud World, no, Land. Uh, so we're done with six here, so now we're climbing into the clouds. Giant Mario. Rah! Okay. Now move Mario to 7 1 there. Say hello in the comments. Hello, what is my favorite island? Uh. Island. I don't know. Britain? <laughs> uh. It is a little reckless to have Bob Bombs running all over a ship. Why did I call it Brick 101 Gaming? Because uh, my main channel is Brick 101. But that's about Lego, and this one's about gaming, so that's my name on the internet, Brick101, so Brick101 Gaming. Makes sense, right? Hi Sarah, thanks for coming back for a second day for the stream. Uh, level 7-1 now. What is my favorite Mario game? Uh, Mario Maker? It is like every Mario game ever. Uh, 3D Mario game might be Galaxy 2, but Mario 64 is also amazing. Uh, and I'm excited for Odyssey. Uh, I think it'll be pretty sweet. All right, level seven one. Whoop, upside down beetle. And now we flip the...
there's a cloud that we can't go down through, but we could come up through. So we look for another pipe to flip the world. A uh, type level, uh, where you keep switching back and forth. This one, it's you're switching gravity. Uh, we saw another parallel, parallel uh, world type level yesterday in um, Color Land with uh, parallel panels. You actually could just beat the level going through one color or the other, but uh, it's just more fun to switch back and forth. Whereas this one, it's required to switch back and forth. So two very different types of interpretations of kind of the parallel stuff. Um, how do you feel about parallel world Mario or Mario Maker? Um, let me know in the chat slash comments. I really like when they're able to make it so you actually have to think a little bit about what you would need to do to switch. Uh, Cause sometimes parallel world levels just end up being find the pipe. And uh, it's just like, oh, there's a pipe, I need to go through it. Um, whereas other times you have to be a little more thoughtful about which pipe to go through or what you need to do when you switch. Like there's one, what is it? The Mansion of Lost Time. Uh, where the stuff is moving or not moving in one version of the world versus the other, it's Ghost House theme. That's probably like one of my favorite parallel worlds level. It's a, a level I really want to show in an upcoming Mario Maker showcase video. And sheets and spreadsheets full of cool levels I want to showcase, but uh, I'd been holding off on my main channel because Mario Maker videos didn't do super well there. So that's why I. One of the reasons I started this channel is so I can just have a place to showcase amazing Mario Maker levels and people know that's what they're coming to the channel for, is gaming content, rather than my LEGO audience being confused. Um, I'm not coming on this level so much because I've played through it several times, so it's kind of memorized for me, but uh, it's a really well-made level, I do have to say. Not trying to take anything away from it. Oh, and that's the end. So yeah, that's a really nice introduction to sky level. I like of uh, you know switching the gravity back and. Forth. I can't speak this morning. Um, because it definitely like makes you feel like kind of unmoored and like you're floating through space. Let's update the map and check on the comments. What will you do if you get spare stream time? Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we get to like two and I'm done and have another 30 minutes, then I might try to do a level or two from you in the comments. But that's only if I run out of levels uh, by, before 2.30. Uh, Hi, Degrox10. Welcome to the the stream. Parallel world levels are awesome, says Logan Film Studios. This is one of the coolest levels you've played. It is a really cool level. How can I like Galaxy 2 more than Galaxy 1? Because it's better. It's like just so refined. It's got the cloud hat. It's got all the Yoshi stuff. Galaxy 2 is an amazing game. Uh, Galaxy 1 is okay, but Galaxy 2 is just so much better. Do I play Pokemon Go? I did for a long time. I stopped about a month ago um, because I just ran out of steam for it. Uh, all right, let's play 7-2 Breezy Bastion. So you're seeing me play. Frank's an amazing maker. If you haven't played Levels by Frank, you're missing out. I've showcased multiple before, I think, in my uh, Wiggler video and probably one of my 10 Creative Levels video. Um, yeah, Frank just makes amazing stuff. And, I mean, you can see right here, it feels so perfectly traditional. Um, the really nice balance of, like, a meaningful aesthetics. Like, everything looks done. Sometimes people can go crazy with, um, adding stuff to a level to make it look fancy. Um, but this one really has a nice balance. Well, I mean, a lot of the 
levels in this game have a really nice balance. Uh, but, oh, secret three up there. I wonder if I can get there. Probably not. <laughs> Just gonna bounce my head against this, because this is fun. Oh, I should kill that. Dead. Big jump. Uh oh. Skeleton face. That usually means something bad is about to happen. Bowser Jr. Who would have guessed Bowser Jr. would be in a fortress? Would have been nice if they had added just a few more, like, boss slash mini boss types. They get that Bowser Jr. is basically a uh, boom boom, but it would have still been nice to have more easy boss options and Super Mario make add in more things so that was a nice fun straightforward level like each level is more important but galaxy 2 the levels are just so good it's like everything you do in galaxy 2 is just like straightforward fun and awesome whereas galaxy one they should add tiny mushrooms to the game that would be a great addition too hello salvester bot 95 i think you're new to the stream toad 1000 yes i played through mario run when it first came out i've been meaning to play it again now that it's out for Android, which is what I usually play on. All right, skipping past this mini game and a Hammer Brothers all the way over to, or is Hammer Brothers? Oh yeah, that must be it. Hammer Brothers is level five, seven, three because it's Hammer Rain by Stefan. Stefan, mispronounced names. Well, I think Galaxy One is better, but. That's your opinion. That's just like your opinion, man. All right, Hammer Brothers raining down hammers. Very apt based on the level title. Oh geez, multiple Hammer Bros now. Uh, RNG what? Kill it! No! Alright, I foresee... Hope you like watching me die. <laughs> Just jumped right into that. Oh jeez. Hammer Brothers, oh, um, in my last 10 creative levels video I did on the main Brick 101 channel, there's a level, what was it called, something fortress, uh, that has a really good use of Hammer Brothers, where it's pretty predictable what they're gonna do, uh, as opposed to most Hammer Brothers, which are a little bit random. Uh, jeez. And that was my favorite use of Hammer Brothers ever. This right here is not my f uh... I'm trying to think how I can cheat. And by cheat, I don't mean like cheat cheat, I mean just like cheese. Do something they probably didn't intend me to do, like steal this cloud. See ya level. <laughs> Alright, let's see where I am. I don't want to like skip the whole thing, but I do want to skip that part. And it's not cheating if you give me a Lakitu cloud. Oh, what? It hurt me on the way down? Oh jeez. Ah! I got overconfident. <laughs> Oh, and now I won't get a leaf, I just get a standard mushroom. Womp womp. Uh, 
I guess, what, they throw three and then there's a little bit of a pause? Run, jump! Ah! I mean, this isn't too bad, because, right, they're standing in one cloud, so their hammers can only go in so many places. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty good use of Hammer Brothers. I'd say, like, second favorite use of Hammer Brothers, now that I got through that one annoying part. Annoying to me, that is. Because that's just my opinion, man. Or lady. Or gender non-conforming person. Ah! Checkpoint! Run! Jump! Anytime I see a checkpoint, I get really excited. Because I die a lot. As you've probably noticed. Uh, can I fly? Not quite. That would have been nice to fly above everything. This uh, level feels very sky themed, I must say, with all of our clouds and doom. Clouds and doom, clouds and doom, that's what we say when we're in the sky. Oh, Hammer Brothers on Beetles. Pair of Beetles. Yikes. Uh, I also... So this was my first time playing through it. That was a good level! Uh, uh, some of the blue plot were really, really good uses of Hammer Brothers. Oh, another Glockham level. Uh, everybody? Yeah, no, there was a lot of nice dodging. Chappium. Who is her gaming? Yeah, see, has amazing stuff. Uh, those videos are great. All right, moving on to 8.4 on the world map here. Which level did you do? I do have the 8-bit Mario ab Amiibo. I've been using it in Breath of the Wild to get meat and stuff. Uh, let me play 7-4 now. Shimmering Spire by Glackham. And first, bird-sounding water bottle drink. Okay. 7-4, Shimmer. Um... This is another example of, like, simple, effective aesthetics. Just perfect little columns going up. Also a great example of a vertical level, um, which is hard to do right in Mario Maker. I just got hit by that boo. Um, this is a really nice representation of those circle enemies from Super Mario 3. I always forget their name, but uh, someone can tell me in the comments the name of those circle things. But that's a really good uh, recreation. Yeah, it really just feels like Super Mario 3 with a couple additional assets. And, you know, slightly better graphics. Is this a secret way? I forget if this is like a secret or I just like breaking through things. Yes, secret. I can see it. Feels like uh, Minecraft breaking through all those bricks. And those are just good. One up! Ooh, checkpoint. Uh oh. That chain shop's coming for me. Ah! Nope! <laughs> I got so uh, overwhelmed by the moving check chain jump that I fell to my doom. Uh, I think this is the boss here. Bowser Jr. also hopping boo thing.
That must be something in a Goomba shoe, I'm guessing, based on the hopping pattern. Because it's following me. Oh, a parabeetle. Oh, I think this is a transition into the parabeetle level. Parabeetle level. That's what I said. All right, so that was 7-4. Let's update our world map here. Move up to 7-5. Nice little moon there. Why did I trigger people? Hello Neighbor? I haven't played Hello Neighbor. I've seen it all over the internet. Um, I, I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna do any Mario Sunshine tribute because I didn't like Mario Sunshine. I thought about doing Galaxy levels, but I need a break from Mario Maker making levels after Super Discord Brothers. So I don't know if I'll do any Galaxy tributes. Um, I've been working on a Sonic tribute, but uh, hasn't been forthcoming. All right, let's play 7-5 through 7-8, second half of Skyland. Lowest clear rate, just because people are bad at jumping on parabeetles, um, but I enjoy it. And I played an early version of this, and... Uh, went the secret way, but then they changed the secret and I don't know how to do it anymore. Or if it's still there, I forget. But I like jumping on parabeetles, it's fun. Jump, jump, jump. So I think there's like a secret up there maybe? I don't know if I can get up there. Oh, that was a really good way of jumping. <laughs> I'm bad at jumping. This is also, uh, Drew, if you're watching, why you should not be concerned about the clear rate, because people do things like that that I just did. Jumping to their doom just because there's a pit. And not because your level is poorly designed. This is actually really delightful. Jump, jump, jump. But yeah, any level that involves one wide platform jumps over a semi-infinite abyss is probably gonna have a pretty low clear, clear rate. That was hard to say. Uh, right, because I know there's a way to go this way, where there used to be. But I don't know how to do it. I think I have to get a section. But I'll just go this way. Oh jeez. That part I always get hit. That's why I had so much trouble with this. When I was playing an earlier version, I just kept dying right before that checkpoint. And uh, that was hard. But now I know what to do. up here. Ooh, a moon! That's cute. Oh, and there's some kind of secret door there. Oh, I fell to my doom. <laughs> That's the problem. Every time I get that, now I can fly everywhere! And then I inevitably mess up a simple jump. Because uh, I'm overconfident. But yeah, this level is hard, but really cool. Hard, but cool. That could be the title for a lot of levels that I've played in this game. Oh, and that's nice. This P-Switch makes this part a little easier, because then you can just jump across normal platforms there. I think this is like almost the end, if I remember correctly. Whew! And this is definitely the end. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, one up. I almost got killed by and just one last little challenge and home free. Boom! Crushed it. A lot of fortress levels in Skyland. Uh, oh, that's the wrong world. Skyland, move up to the fortress, Mario. Check on the comments. Could you play Skylanders? I do not have anything Skylanders related, so I will not be playing Skylanders. I might play more LEGO Dimensions, though. How do you join Super Discord Brothers 3? Well, it's over now, but there's information in the Reddit thread, which is in the video description, about uh, how to you know, contact Pink Birdo in the future if you want to be involved. All right, let's play 7-6, Clouds in Fort Thwomp by David, or David, or David. I don't think I can get up there. Uh, but really great entrance here with this angry thwomp face. And this shows you clouds will be eaten by thwomps. I mean, destroyed. Oh jeez. Run! Or fall to your doom. Oh, map! Sorry! I was so good. I was so good. I just had a karma death because of uh, forgetting the map. Thank you for screaming in the comments. So this is the awesome entrance I was talking about. Good thing I died because otherwise that would have been terrible again. The map. The map is really my downfall in streaming, isn't it? It was a cool idea though, right? Switching the thing between the map. Cool idea, but kind of awful in practice because I forget it so much. Ah! Oh jeez. Ah! Now if I had managed to way I can go. I think coming up, yes. Ah! Oh, so close. Maybe I'll keep the mushroom this time. <laughs> I lasted 98 uh, without forgetting. That's a pretty good streak. <laughs> uh, well, luckily I'm bad at this level, so you didn't really miss anything. Run! Jump! Uh, that's another good example of a thing that makes you uh, run really fast. And this is Doom. Ah! Almost used my damage boost to get back up, but then I didn't. Alright. This is gonna be the time. Our time, said the Goonies. Uh, Goonies joke. Not really a joke, just a reference. Reference humor. Run! Jump fast! Oh, lost my mushroom. Alright. Run! Down, 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 down! Ah! So, right, this would be a leaf if I had kept the mushroom, and then I could trick those swamps into falling and fly through that. Uh, ceiling hole over there for a secret area. At one time when I was playing a testing version of this, but uh, not this time. All right, let's be prepared. This is going to be a giant thwomp there. Giant thwomp. Again, I've played this level several times, so kind of cheating with future sight. Been watching a lot of Steven Universe, almost through season one. Uh, I didn't really mean for that to work as well as it did. Oh, I guess I could, like, time my jump with the cloud. Yeah, to use it as a shield. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but it works.
And this is a little like puzzly section here where you need to use the thwomp to progress. Yeah. Again, this is just a really great level. I'm not talking about how awesome it is because I'm trying not to die, but oh jeez. And this is a really great fight here because the um, thwomps eventually take out some of the ground or, you know, it's clouds, but it's ground for you, if that makes sense. Um, oh jeez. I hate when he does that. Death for him. And I win! And another great thwomp, uh, the level. Hi, Pink Birdo. I'm glad you love Steven Universe. It's amazing. Uh, 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, what am I doing? I'm updating the map and then immediately leaving the map so I don't forget. Uh, giant Mario. Okay, regular size Mario. Mario is a bit oversized. Thought it looked pretty good. For people watching this afterwards, how I talk to everybody in the chat, but you can't, can't see the chat. Chat afterwards? I don't know. By Andy. Uh, played a couple Andy levels in this before, or maybe just one. Was it three? Three, I think. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying on that level, Andy is amazing. Uses great, uh, makes great use of all the vertical space to have a level that you really can explore in a way that a lot of people do not. And uh, similar to that other level, there's some light puzzle elements with P switches here. I'm just gonna. Oh, and there's a secret area in this level, of course. Um, trying to remember where it is. I think it involves using the leaf at some point. Or you get a leaf there? We'll see. We'll see what the secret is. But yeah. No, I mean, it's just so enticing, like, all the different coins in different directions. Like, I want to see what's, what's with all the coins. One up. Exploration is the best. That's what I'm really excited for in Super Mario Odyssey, that they're kind of returning to the giant open world with lots of objectives, uh, a la Super Mario 64. As much as I love Galaxy 2 with its really streamlined levels over Galaxy 1, which was kind of a mishmash of like half streamlined, half open world. Um, open world level levels are awesome. Uh, oh. I think that's the secret over there. Right, that's where you need to fly up. Where's the leaf, though? Oh, pff, just totally fell to my doom there. <laughs> that was totally avoidable. Um, I could just go forward the normal route, but what fun is that? I, I already added 30 minutes to the stream today, so I uh, feel like it's worth trying to find the secret route. Take that flower, but I know what I need is a leaf. I think I need to use a Koopa, maybe? Why do I think that? Or is it like down here? Where's the leaf? Oh, that must be the leaf. Yes, that's the leaf down there. Because you have to grab on. Uh, Birdo is saying in the chat that uh, Skyland was the best of having eight really distinct feeling levels that all still managed to feel like a cohesive land. I've got to agree with that. Like, um, just from the levels we just played through, they're all pretty different. I mean, there's a couple fortress levels that feel a little similar, but even those are different because one's really vertical and another's really horizontal. Leaf! All right. Um, and this level also feels totally different. Ah! And then my level's super weird, uh, which we'll see in a minute. 
right. Let's kill you. Because I think what I want to do is like run like this. Is it like this? Yeah, secret time! Oh, fast. S, D, I wonder what they're spelling. B, next number's gonna be four, right? No, it was a three. I should have known that. Oh, smiley face! We're almost at the end here. No, this is where I died earlier. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Up there, that's where I need to go. I don't think that's where I died earlier. It's just similar looking. Oh no, that's definitely exactly where I died earlier. Now we go the normal route after we did the secret route. Oh yeah, that would have been cool if I had hit both springs. Uh, this is a cool thing just in its own right. It's of the star in a creative way, so it doesn't feel like you're cheating, but just feels like a cool thrill like that. The level three, that's undoubtable. Undoubted. Oh, it's my level! Seven, eight. Let me update the map real quick. Uh, ba ba ba, seven, eight. Going to strategy. Atmospheric sky ship. Go back to the game. Uh, as I started playing, and then I remembered it was the level I spent like a month making. Uh, so yeah, this is the first time I've made a traditional airship level, and traditional should be in air quotes because uh, I'm semi-traditional at my most traditional. Feels kind of traditional right now, right? Like, oh yeah, there's a ship, there's cannons. Put in some clouds because we're in Skyland, and. Uh, I really focused on winged enemies in this level, so see that wingy chomp down there? Uh, let's go the secret way, because why wouldn't we? So this would be the normal way here. I'll show you where that reconnects in a minute, but making this cannonball jump over here gets you to a secret little door. SD B3. Oh, and I think I gave you a star here, yeah. Uh, not the best use of a star, because it doesn't give you a lot of advantage right after that, but... So that pipe also would be where you would come through if you had gone to the other pipe. Hit a little interior of the ship there with moles working. Oh, my star ran out just in time to lose my flower. Uh, but yeah, you could have kind of used that star to get through this area with the thwomps a little bit easier. This is supposed to be like a cargo hold inside the uh, airship. Um, this is a extra hard little challenge there just to get you a uh, one up. I like bouncy things. You'll see that in my space land level, all of the bouncy all of the time. But I still like the idea of like the blue stuff is kind of the carpet in the uh, airship was my imagining, and then like sometimes the carpet gives away and there's the bouncy underneath because obviously uh, insulation and piping is super bouncy or whatever you have inside of an airship. Oh, this is fun. Uh, this is like a mini preview of what the boss is going to be with a winged thwomp you need to hit a pow. Um, and you can see mechanical area below, and now we run really fast through an air vent. So yeah, I kind of made this be like infiltrating a airship, because so many air levels, airship levels, you just stay outside. So I like the idea of going inside. Here we see the giant mole pilot, and I'm going to kill the mole pilot, and then realistically the is good autopilot. Uh, here's just a random stack of enemies. I mean, it's kind of the three enemies I focused on in this level. Moles were just a fun fourth addition for random parts. Little callback to our Parabeetle level here. Oh, secret way up here. 
and get a mushroom. And then just, oh, yeah, chomps are coming at me. Chomps are fun. I got to show you my like really detailed artwork. Uh, here we go. Uh, so this is a giant thwomp I made out of enemies. Uh, oh, I'm running out of time. Thanks for the compliment about the aesthetics, Pink Birdo. I'm really proud of how it turned out. It's a little bit like crazy. Uh, and this is supposed to be like this ship is so high in the sky that you actually go into space here. So you can see sky and clouds on each side and then you go up, 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 and now you're in space. I don't know how many people got that without me explaining it. And now we're facing Queen Thwomp Chomp the third. Uh, I'm really proud of how this boss turned out. So we've got Thwompies with Parabeetles and a Giant Chomp, and we need to hit the POW blocks as we did before. Uh, there we go. Oh. This, uh, again, you can see all my early drafts of this level on my level stream. Uh, this boss went through a couple different iterations. This is clearly the best. I originally had one where you just, the POWs were totally stationary. And here's our little cutscene where the chomp part flies away into the distance. I'm very proud of that cutscene. Whee! Uh, and now we go back down into the clouds and beat the level and get a million one-ups. Except only three. I don't know how that would work. Oh yeah, I just got a... Whatchamacallit mode. Of course, buddy. All right, so we're at two, and this is why I said it would be to 2.30 today, because uh, I knew that I was not gonna finish all of them uh, in just two hours. So that's why I added a half hour to the stream. Uh, update the world map. So we're going from world seven to world eight, which is so big, I had to split it up into two parts. Uh, space land, AKA one of the best lands. I'll just say it's the best because I love space. Uh, and I had a lot of fun with my space level. Uh, so we'll be going to 8-1. How much time did I spend making all your levels? I don't know, it was over the course of five months, but I probably only spent about, you know, 20 hours per level. That's approximately how I spent. So as I said, I'll be going till 2.30 today because I know I need another half hour to get through all of the um, stuff. Two to 10 hours? Oh, geez, I take a long time. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I'm totally overestimating with 20 hours per level. But it feels, yeah, it's probably closer to 10. You're right. Uh, okay, let's play 8-1. Remember to leave the map and go back to actually playing. I haven't played 8-1 yet, so uh, Paranoid Plant Planet say that five times fast, uh, is totally new to me. Oh, was I supposed to go that way? I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, do we have custom music here? Oh, it's just kind of like... Uh, I'm being attacked by a chomp in a clown car, but I'm gonna keep it at bay. Oh, geez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh-oh. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Um, I... Uh, this is amazing. Oh! I thought I would... <laughs> I just ran into the gap. Yeah, 1-3 definitely didn't take 20 hours, but... Uh, Stratosphere Skyship may be a little... That there was a lot of complicated things. The interior of the ship took a lot of time futzing around with. I'm talking to somebody in the chat again. Again, that's going to be weird for viewers who can't see the chat in the future. All right, this time I'll run across it. Ah! Oh, jeez. Uh, this is crazy, and I love. P-switch. Run, run, run! Oh, jeez. I died. Uh, there wasn't much I could do. Uh, well, you start 
in the clouds here, and then you go to space. See? To Sandal Power, who says this level doesn't look like space. I'm totally in space now, but on a planet in space. You know, galaxy style. Ah, I needed that helmet. Uh, just run really fast. Jump, hold on. Careful, careful. Bling, bling, bling. All right, get ready. Not into the fire bar. I'll just let it go first. And I'm free of my crazy headache. Oh, it came back! I thought it would fall to its doom. Oh, they're coming for me. Oh, but I've got my own clown car now. <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Checkpoint, thank you. Uh, this is just <laughs> crazy. I love it. Checkpoint, oh, because it's, you know, infinite checkpoints. Uh, I've just got munchers on my head, FYI. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I've got a stack of munchers. How many munchers can I get? Probably not infinite, but maybe three. Uh, that was fun. This is why I love Space World. I mean, I love Space World, Space Land, for a lot of reasons. But, uh... This is already making me feel really great. Um, this is one thing that I really like about Spaceland is we all agreed that it would be not incredibly traditional uh, because it's space. And this level, uh, I think this is where the other thing was, right? Real quick, save my progress. Multiple levels that have red coins in them in space, even though by red coins, I mean pink coins, of course. Hey, Desert World. Um... Oh, is there a hidden block here? Yep. Oh, that looks super cool. Oh, Trippy Mario is the best Mario. The top right pipe is actually supposed to be 5-5? Five, five? Oh, so it's like going back into... Oh, they're like little going back into little levels. Um, like... Yeah, I can kind of see that this is... Back. Uh, wait, where did not go yet? Was it this one? I totally... No, I did this level. Uh... That's really cool that these are the desert tribute. Oh, which one? <laughs> I have not gone into. Top left must be it. Okay. Oh, and this is like 1-1, one, one. yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right. This is like my new favorite level of all time of anything. I got the key! Um, but I'm not really interested in finishing the level because it's so much fun. Ah, chomp! So that's really cool that this level contains four mini tributes. One of, to my level, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, uh, as Birdo told me in the comments there. Probably 2-1 was the desert one, and tree chop traversal, I think, which is what, 6, or 1-7? One, 1-1, one, 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 according to Birdo. Makes a lot of sense. And stars! Oh, that was amazing. Space World is... Oh, this is my level. 
and let's update the map. All right, so we are in this world and we are going from 8.1 to 8.2. And uh, then we're gonna remember to uh, go back to viewing the actual stream. Okay, so this is 8.2. Syzygy, words, it means an alignment of planetary bodies, three or more. Uh, I have an optional red coin hunt in this level, and I'm going to kill myself. Uh, so I'll show you where all the red coins are, because I don't know how many other people will ever record that. So this one, you have to go up here to this giant fly bones, which is also very bouncy, because bouncy things are the best. And go back down here. So this is supposed to be a giant version of the uh, bumper made out of note blocks. Uh, now we get an orbiting bumper to make it more interesting. Bouncing is the best. Uh, and then this is supposed to be a giant green bumper. Uh, and now I'll show you the trickiest secret probably in this whole level, which is... I can do it. Can I do my own secret? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Killed myself. That always happens to me. Uh, 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 that's not the best way to do it. Uh, yes, you saw the face cam for a second. I accidentally switched to it. Let's see how hard it is for me to beat my own level. Uh, it does have one of the lowest clear rates of the whole game, uh, probably because, you know, it's bouncy platforming with a gigantic abyss. Uh, but that's okay, because I love it. I love bouncing on things. Bouncy, bouncy. Alright, this is actually the better way to do this secret here, is to whew, do that. So you can climb onto these vines on the bottom, climb all the way under, and go up this pipe. I could have put a coin there to really indicate that that's what you're supposed to do. And this takes you forward inside a bumper later in the level that you'll see. Uh, and then go back out of it. And now you're back on top of green bumper. Now. Take a look at this bumper here. It's green and there's a piranha plant inside. And then you go in inside the bumper, which is even bouncier than the outside. And the piranha plant is bigger. And then uh, this part, I probably should have adjusted. It's really hard to get through there without getting hit by a fireball. Dope. <laughs> Woo. Dying on my own level multiple times. I hope you like my level, because I'm going to be playing it for a while as I keep on dying. Yeah, so one of my downfalls is that I often will choose aesthetics over gameplay, uh, as denoted on the inside of that giant bumper, where uh, it's very easy to get hit by that fireball, and I knew it but I didn't want to uh, mess up the perfect circleness of it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, the music in this level is I put the Toad music on Mario, so it just is always playing the music, but I thought it felt appropriate for a bouncy space level. I guess I should try and actually beat my level, uh, since it's already... I've only got 20 minutes left to finish six other levels. Alright, but... The key is letting go of the run button when you do that jump, because otherwise you'll grab the spring. I guess I could have taken the spring off that part. Again... Okay. Oh well! Uh, and you can see there's eyes for the bumper up there at the top. 
That is the appropriate way to get through that section, as I demonstrated right there. You have to time the fall just right. But it's very easy to get hit by a fireball instead. The bumper. So now the piranha plant is this giant thing right there. And then there's this tricky coin to get. Uh, giant piranha plant. You can see the tops of the bumpers that we were on there. And then these are supposed to be fireballs from the piranha plant, except made out of note blocks. You have to jump on the non-fiery part, which is super tricky because you have to go like that. But then we get a fire flower, and now we go inside the piranha plant. And go through its digestive system, made up of wigglers. Um, so yeah, 8-1 and 8-2 already showing you like what a crazy hallucinogenic trip Space World is. Uh, earlier this had a much longer digestion up there, but then I hit the enemy cap, so I took it out. Um, now we've got some crazy constellations made of wigglers. Gonna get that hard coin. And then we're gonna do a bunch of platforming to the left because I like to make people go to the left with some giant, almost blind jumps. I think one of them was actually blind earlier, but this you can technically see the landing spot, so it's not totally blind. And I'm gonna get this, and then go get the secret coin to the left. Bounce jump! I adjusted that jump a couple times because uh, I like making really hard bouncy jumps, but uh, it got to the point of being kind of un We ride a moving giant note block bumper because, yeah. Uh, and this coin area was inspired by the last special stage from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 where there's just rings everywhere in the sky. So that was kind of the idea here. I like how the bumper pushes the pair of dry bones, and sometimes that happens. And the last coin is here by the door. And now we can go through to the secret bonus area. Which has a little bumper challenge to get the leaf power up and the one up. And then it brings us out to the end. Just want to show you over here this like solar system of bumpers I created. This is kind of the area where the syzygy really comes into play in this level. Uh, but yeah, so that's my level 8-2. I'm really proud of it. Has a really low clear rate. Uh, fun, I think. Quick, quick map update before 8-3. Moving in Mario from 8-2 to 8-3. Because I want to finish this in the next 18 minutes, so let's just start playing 8-3, Impacting the Moon. I like Shelmets. Just gonna say that. Uh, this one also has some puzzly aspects, I think. Yeah, there's that thing happens. And then you have to like wait and not die. Chomps. Ooh, lots of cannons. Good thing I had my helmet on there, protecting me from that cannonball. And now I've got a fire flower, so I can shoot things that I can't kill. Run! Oh. I really don't like these two cannons right here. I feel like they're a little unfair. Also, it's annoying that you have to get hit here to 
lose your shelmet to get the spiny helmet, but it is what it is. And now we can get ourselves into that checkpoint there. Secret one up. Oh, I lost my helmet. Oh, what do I have to do with... Oh, I need to bring that with me. I always forgot about that part. Yeah. That's a little bit of a tricky thing there. Uh, oh, this is just a weight room, so survive it. And this used to be a lot longer, I remember, in earlier playtests, but down, which I think works out. And now you've successfully infiltrated the moon base. Galactic Generator by Jungle Bee. It's a nice fortress level. I believe uh, Magic Koopas show up. Yeah, there they are. I really like the spike aesthetics in this level, as I hit a spike. Oh, and then get hit by a spiny. Uh, oops. Uh, but yeah, I like the spikes in front of mushroom platforms scattered throughout the wall. It's a nice way to give them a little bit of color. Burr, burr. Leaf time! Uh-oh. through this, but, uh, oh. This music is amazing. Oh no, no, go! Ah. It's from a Kirby game. Uh, and, uh, Birdo, did you help make- Somebody helped make the music. But it is really impressive. Definitely adds a, uh, tension to this aspect part right here. Go, go, go! Go! Whew! Checkpoint. That was intense, but amazing. Oh, Ayumi helped make it. it says Pink. Thanks, T. Joseph, for saying that I'm good. Uh, I have played this level a few times before, so that helps with me being able to do that on only my second try. Uh, but again, this really shows how nicely the difficulty has ramped up from World 1 to World 8. Because that was definitely an intense challenge, but also, if you're playing through it like a game, you've kind of yourself for that. Yes, you helped make the music in 8.8. That's right, Birdo. Thank you, and thanks for tuning in. Um, you're one of 16 people watching right now. Thanks, Andre, for saying that I'm really good. World clear. All right, so let's update the map. Uh, it was 8-4, so I actually need to change the background here. All right, so now we're in the second half of Space World. Went through the Fortress 8-4 here, the Galactic Generator, and now we're going to 8-5, which is a Wiggler-based level. Yes! I like bouncy things. So watching. See if we can beat these four levels in the next 12 minutes. Uh, yes, the Wiggler on the map is also very nice. Another wonderful creation of Pink Birdo. I like that Spaceland gets its own separate map from the rest of the game because it gets a lot more detail per level. Uh, so, good work, Pink Birdo. Secret 1-Up. 
the aesthetics on this level are also pretty top-notch. I like the uh, pixel art mushrooms. Oh, that was silly of me. Wigglers are the best. I love bouncing on top of them. I could do it forever. Jump. Okay. Bounce. Oh, got to time my jump here. Whoop. Hmm, how would I hit that question mark? Is that possible? Oh, maybe if I had gotten a leaf. And then it would shoot out a... One-up, probably. Oh, gotta get the key, and then go back. Wiggler jumping is just so satisfying. I don't know how anyone could not... Jumping. <laughs> that was an awkward pause. Uh, thanks for the mushroom. Whoop, watch out for fireballs. Oh, so close. Almost made that without getting hit. Checkpoint, yes. Wow, that could have been easily avoided, that damage there. But hey, thanks for the mushroom. This is why I like levels that are relatively generous with power-ups, because I am a non-cautious player. Oh, I think it's possible to get in that area over there, but there's nothing for it. Uh, when I was playing in version of this level before, uh, me being the secret seeker that I am, got myself stuck in that hole down there. Uh, oh, last Pink Birdo level, 886, Holy Moly Moon Maze. Uh, Let's just update the map super quick, because maps are fun. So, 8-6 is this thing with all the stars on it. And Mario turned giant for a second. Close enough. Alright. Uh, so this is a very mazy level, as the name suggests. Need a P-switch there. I played through this a couple times, but I don't remember the solution. I remember getting lost a lot, so we'll see. This might take up 10 minutes of playtime. Let's let these moles go through. Ah, run! I uh, need keys for that part, but probably there's a way I can go over here. I feel like this is the wrong way from what I kind of remember, but who knows? It's a maze. Mm -hmm. That was a thing. Interesting, I didn't realize you could go over question blocks that are at the top of the screen. Did other people know that was like a thing you could do? Hey! I've got a mushroom now. The right, right way. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I can make this jump here. That's more of a way to go down than go up. But maybe this way? Uh, but yes, I hope you're all appreciating the great pixel art of stars and mushrooms as I at this level. Pow! Yeah, that looks important. Oh, I needed a pow back at the beginning where there was a muncher. Can I get back there easily? I have no idea where I am, but maybe this pipe just conveniently takes me Yeah. 
Oh, and now I can go through this way, maybe. No, because that's... That was a closed thing. Oh, how do I get this pal block up there? Is that what I need to do? I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. I think it's this way, but maybe not. So that's definitely doable. I just need to... Oh, geez, did I need that mushroom? I hope not, but probably. Yep. Well, that's great. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was probably supposed to use that brick. I just totally messed it up. I thought it was had a coin in it or something. All right, well that was uh, me wasting a good amount of time after I had... <laughs> All right. How quickly can I redo this part? Oh, this is the pow, but I need the... So where was the mushroom? Was that this way? Totally lost in this level, but I need to at least get to the checkpoint before I die of timeout. This level definitely messes with my spatial reasoning to the extent that I have. Uh, hey, there's a question mark. Not a question mark. A mushroom block. And then if Go this way, does that bring me out close to where I can... Yes, those conveniently both drop me off. This time I will use the brick, which I avoided using last time. And then to my own doom. Here we go. There's no accounting for stupid uh, players, Birdo, in your level design. So that was my fault for missing that brick, even though I saw it. Or second, third. Uh, maybe not this way. Oh, I was supposed to jump. Coins, coins, coins. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, is that Doom? Yeah, that's Doom. Almost fell to my doom there because I was used to there always being a floor. Hmm, I wonder if I need to go up there. Okay, use a bullet bill. Ah, quickly, quickly! Burp! Oh, that's a lot of, uh, holy moly moles there. And I'm gonna jump on all of them. Burp, 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 burp. I could have used the uh, fire flower there, but it's more fun to do that. Hey, I got keys! Oh, I should not like trap myself in that little area. That's my impulse is to like find tiny little nooks I can duck into and then not get out of. Uh, where am I going? I need to get back to the doors that needed keys. Are this way. I think going up there would be a good idea. And then this way. Memories of walking through Pixel Land. Burp. Yes, I know, I'm running out of time. You don't need to remind me, game. Mole, because, like, 
it should not actually work in that amount of space. This is where I get the star, isn't it? Is this where I do the star jump? Oh, checkpoint, that's good. Um, I remember parts of this. At least I hit the checkpoint. I won't have to like redo the whole thing. Is it this door? Nope. Must be this door. Alright, so now that I hit that, I can quickly do the star jump I know is coming. If I can beat this in 49 seconds. Oh. Star and mushroom, please. Thank you very much. Your door, because I broke it open. Then I can do this. Conveyor belt jump! Yes! Uh, okay, bring the palm back, take the- then I won't explode. Uh, 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 take it though. Uh, checkpoint? No, uh, I need to take it through the pipe, but I'll go through these doors floating while I remember how this game works. 20 seconds, so close. Ah! Yes! 15 seconds. Go, 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 go! Ha ha! Did it without timing out. Fun level. All right. Left, we can get through this. I know the streaming time, but uh, let's beat this game. Uh, let's get a show. Whew! That was really exciting, beating it just as the time was running out. Um, good work, Birdo. I'm making a maze. I wouldn't have been able to beat that in the time limit if I didn't hadn't already played through it, but you know, the checkpoints were nicely spaced, so I would have only had to redo a little bit if I had died because of time out. Take our blue skull thing up here. Go inside this planet over here. See how long it takes me to lose. Oh, I didn't even get the shelmet. Let's see how long it takes me to lose this shelmet. Uh, because I will probably get hit very soon by a cannonball. Or a flame. There's the cannonball that took my helmet. I knew it would happen. And there's the flame that took my mushroom. Oh, and this... There's the grinder that took my life. Uh, that was avoidable. Do I have to start over? <laughs> I'm so good at this game. I just keep dying, right? Uh, da, da, da. Who wants to bet on how long it'll take me to beat the last two levels? I'd say we can probably finish this by 2.45. That's 12 minutes from now. Uh, this is why I updated the stream time to be two and a half hours, but obviously it's already gone over that point. Because these worlds were even harder than yesterday. Where did I get stuck? Oh, that uh, Torrid Tundra. That was my downfall today. But there's still one more level left for me to forget to switch it back from that. And there goes my Shelmet. And there goes... Whew. That's close. Ah. 
this definitely has a lot of close calls here. This precision platforming is not what I'm best at. Uh, I don't know what I am best at. Oh, bouncing. That's what I'm best at. Checkpoint. Yay. Okay. I really like the chomp aliens, I have to say. And this UFO over here is super cute. With the mushroom. And I like how there's the... Oh. Death. Uh, the blue skull kind of like rocket ships you can ride through this level. Definitely feels very spacey. Very galaxy-esque with all the little different uh, planets you have to do different tasks on. Like, take a P-switch. And uh, I also need a POW block. Or I need to hit the POW, right? It's... Oh, that's the mushroom I could have gotten. Oh, I hit the P-switch before I meant to, but it worked out. Oh, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Thank goodness for checkpoints. Riding my platform around a planet. Do 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 do. Does the P switch automatically activate just on the on its own over here? Is that what happened? Oh no. Nope. <laughs> I just lost the P switch. That's what happened. Uh, that is the opposite of what I was hoping for. Hit the P switch. Jump inside our planet here. Stop spoiling uh, the fact that Han Solo dies, everybody. We could also say Snape kills Dumbledore, but that's like an old spoiler. Unless you haven't read Harry Potter. Sorry! But you're kind of a few years late. Doo -doo -doo. Ah! Uh, so this is a fun boss here. Forget if it has a name. Probably does. I can look that up in a second, but right now I need to destroy its ship of munchers so I can attack the alien jellyfish itself. Blooperfish. Blooper jelly. Jelly bloop. Alright, now it's free for me to kill. Oh, or get hit by that. Killed that alien, boop boo doo Now I got the key to get to the end. Yeah! Knowing the names of all the bosses. Da 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 da! Alright, one more. Let me... Supernova Starbase by Ant. Let's update the world map because it's pretty awesome. Uh, Paul. Uh, 6-6 six, six was the maze, not 6-6, six, 8-6 six. Eight, six was the maze, 8-7 was alien encounter over here, and now we're going to 8-8, eight, eight, Bowser's Space Fortress, aka Supernova Starbase. Awesome name. Alright, we've got uh, 7 minutes, based on my new guess of how long I should take. This level has a small red, hoin, red coin hunt, um, continuing with the tradition of Space land being a little bit weird and different and non-traditional and awesome. So get the key up here. I've also played through this. I never played the version that actually had Bowser in it though, so I'm not. I haven't actually played this battle, so that'll be new and exciting. But I've played through a lot of the rest of it already. All right, let's do first. I like color-themed things, so I like this level for that. Again, this is an Andy level, so there's lots of great uh, verticality throughout. Um, 
here, that means vines and grinders. I'll call it the vinder section. Uh, okay. Where am I going? Back here. Two more red coins I need to get. Pink coins. Them here, I think. Yes, this is the cannon jumping aspect. Oh yeah, those cannons I always forget exist and almost get killed by them. And this... I love the aesthetics here too with all the tracks used to make curly things. Oh, this part is different than how it was before. I think that's based on feedback I gave about how the POW block worked or didn't. Looks good. And people are arguing about Star Wars in the comments. Uh, oops. Alright, this part I have to kill all these POWs. Oh, was that how I was supposed to do it? I think, I think I could have supposed to use the vines, but hey, I survived, so that's all that matters. And that's this part is pretty hard because you have to survive those challenges without having any checkpoint security. Um, so that's why there is this spawning thing here. Oh, there used to be a different thing where you had to bring things back, and this works much better. And now we're on a rocket ship ride, which is pretty awesome. Ooh, is that Bowser's rocket ship up there? That's cool. A little sneak peek. Oh, and now it's Bowser Jr. time. I think. Somehow. Oh, there's the P-Switch. Oh, jeez! Bowser Jr. I love the random uh, track decoration here. Definitely makes it feel like a interesting boss room. Boom! before the final, final boss? I think so. I think all checkpoints have been... No, yeah, final checkpoint. Appreciate this awesome music that Pink Birdo helped write. Oh, jeez! <laughs> As I die. All right, I've got two minutes to finish within my goal here. Let's see, is Bowser gonna jump at me here? Jump at me, bro. Oh. I just had to avoid him? Oh no! Here he is! Oh, jeez. Oh, and I can make him fall with smashing through the ice. If I don't get shocked to death first. Come on, jump at me, bro. Come on. This is epic. <sighs> come on, come on. You can jump here. It's safe. Haha! <laughs> it was not safe. It was dangerous. That was awesome. That's a very fitting end to this amazing game. Hey, yeah, for me. And let's get some uh, one-ups while we're at it. So that ends Super Discord Brothers 3, an amazing Mario game. Uh, uh, thank you for joining me for these two playthroughs I did uh, to kick off my new gaming channel. Um, thanks for everybody who tuned in or watched this uh, later. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what else you'd like me to play on this channel. 
Uh, I've been thinking about possibly doing a Shovel Knight playthrough as Plague Knight, because I haven't done that before. And I hear that now you can play as Spectre Knight. Um, what else have I been thinking about playing? Uh, other stuff. Oh, let's look at the map one last time. So yeah, this was, was Space Land that we just beat. And uh, other half of Space Land. We saw Sky Land, Night Land, Color Land, Desert Land. No, that was Water Land, Desert Land, Jungle Land. Uh, Birdo also made a really great credits uh, YouTube video where you can see everybody's name and levels. Uh, fitting way to end watching this stream is to watch the credits video. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Oh, and Pink Bird will put a link to uh, the credits in the chat there, and I'll make sure to put that on the video description. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody.